Oh. Hey guys, it's Monday, so you know what that means. Go turn the fan off for a bit. It's Monday, so you know what that means. It means it's coffee time with Cobra. I have a cup of coffee here. I have some things I need to say. Roll the intro. Howdy, howdy, guys. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Oh, yesterday was amazing. Um, managed to stream for about two hours before really bad thunderstorm came rolling through and uh, actually knocked out my power for about 45 minutes. And um, while the thunderstorm was going on, I don't know about you, but the sound of rain makes me very, very sleepy. So I took a nap, I woke up, and I was like, oh, shoot, three hours has gone by. <laughs> So I didn't get back to streaming, unfortunately. But that does not mean that I will not be doing that uh, again here soon. I will. Uh, I streamed The Division 2, a game I purchased back in 2020. And I just never got around to installing it or playing it. Uh, mostly because my life at that time, uh, due to COVID and, and, and everything else, was just so hectic and so busy and just so over the place. And... Um, Sorry about that, and uh, so yeah, um, stressed a little bit, mostly because of the fact that, uh, well, as you guys know, I do cyber security, it's my main source of income, um, penetrative testing website, external pen test, uh, and one of the companies I worked for uh, let the entire IT department go. Uh, is what it is here in the UK um, we just don't have the jobs here anymore like we used to uh, it's not because of Brexit or any of that shit um, or any of that crap it has to do with the fact that some companies are just greedy and are just looking for ways to um, save money and they think I, the IT department is not worth it because they can just outsource what we do to a company in um, India or Ireland or something like that. And when shit goes sideways, and they, they, they will come crawling back. I know they will come crawling back. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know they will come crawling back. Um, because... They do it all the time. This is like the third or fourth time I've been let go. Um, Thank you, duck. Was that a geese? No, it was a geese. That was, no, that was a gull. Hmm, seagull. Um, so yeah, they let me go. So I've got some free time and I figured, what the hey. I'll veg a little bit before I get back onto the wagon of trying to find a uh, a job. So, is what it is. And so yeah, it was hectic. Uh, so I sh when I stress out my psoriasis, if you don't know what that is, um, not psoriasis, a little bit, just general skin psoriasis is where you, or eczema, your skin will um, flake up and stress out. Mine's just stressing out around my eyes, so I have to put some E45 cream on them to uh, help calm my skin down. Um, should have the part for Big Bertha here tomorrow? Today, 28th, 29th, what is today? Today is the 29th, so yes, it will be here tomorrow. So that will be on on the button. Uh, so uh, I'll be able to get Big Bertha up and running again. Um, the smaller printer, the 6 inch printer, I can't seem to get it to level correctly. And so if, if you can't get it to level correctly, it won't print for shit. So I've got to figure out what's going on uh, with those printers. 
I, I think it's just the old generation one Vox Labs that had the old ball and socket style print beds. The other print beds are all this single mount, flat plane, triple screwed. You know, it's not it's rigid, ain't going nowhere kind of build plates. I was thinking about building some kind of adapter or something like that for the six inch printer, but that's what it is. So they're currently down. And uh, so yeah, that's a pain in the ass. So the printers are down currently right now, that's fine. On the modeling bench, I have an Eldar Wraith Lord, which is basically their version of a, a Knight, Eldar Knight. I already printed it before the printer took a conniption. And uh, but it's missing a few bits, so I'm gonna reprint those. Um, I'm gonna get the bigger printer up and running. I'm also looking at starting a, either an Eldar or a Necron army um, but before I start those I, I gotta finish off my Death Guard and my Chaos then my Soul Ray <laughs> but I've got tons of freaking armies I need to paint I need to paint more and print less basically but the problem is I just can't stop printing because printing's fun uh, also if you print off a whole bunch of miniatures you can do some test paint tests and stuff you can practice with them you know and so no harm no foul like this this guy i was practicing uh, a metallic like an, a necron metallic uh, uh paint scheme for my eldar army literally just all shiny chrome basically eldar taking the mickey out of necrons and i thought to myself maybe if i wash down um and i just picked this paint up by the way knock down some majors purple I could make it look very similar to a callback to uh, not Harlequins or anything, but um, brain fart. Emperor's Children. So like an Emperor's Children themed Eldar army. <laughs> so hedonistic Eldar that are not dark Eldar. So, or you could end up taking them as dark Eldar. So it doesn't matter. So they'd serve both purposes in essence. It's just I would have to swap out the. Howling Banshees and the Fire Reapers for some other stuff and I won't be able to use the Falcon Grav tanks I'll have to use their uh, barges instead and you know, just the little tweaks kind of thing but it'll be fun it will be fun Sorry, I just got to some quick message. And so, like I said, I've got uh, an event I'm going to tonight. Um, sorry, I got wet my eye real quick. I've got an event I'm going to tonight. That'll be fun. So by the time this video has gone up, I'll be at the event. Um, it is a um, adult-themed event. Um, 
I'm pretty sure I've told you guys this, but if I haven't, I'll tell you anyway. I'm into an alternate lifestyle uh, called BDSM. Um, and I, I'm going to an event tonight um, with some friends. And we're just going to go and chill and have fun. It's going to be amazing. Uh, and yeah, uh, I've been doing alternate lifestyle since I was 19, 20. Um, yeah, so my role in the lifestyle has changed and evolved over the years. I don't hide that fact. It is it, it, what it is. I am who I am. Mm. And so, yeah, it's just been doing that for quite a while um, with work and some of my private life um, going a bit crazy. Um, I figured I need this and I need to, uh, I just need some me time. I need to rebuild me. I need to refocus me. I need to, I need to work on me. That's the only way I can put it is I need to work on me and the only way that's going to happen is if i actually take time to love me again i've been so busy loving everyone else that i forgot to love myself so you know rule of thumb always love yourself first you know And so, yeah, just one of those stop, reimagine, refocus. Plus, a whole bunch of um, people from my past have come out the woodworks and um, wanted to get to know me and see me and talk to me again. And I'm just like, why? You know, you did what you did. It is what it is. You know. Um, Yes, both of these people did wrong me. And I am a forgiving person. You have to be in this day and age. Life's too short to hold on to anger. And it is. Life is too short to hold on to pain and anger. People, we as a species need to learn to love and let go. And I mean that. We need to learn to love and let go. Because we can't hold on to it forever. Because it will kill us. It is a rope around our necks. And we think that we're the ones. Uh, are deserving because we're the victims. No, 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 no. Someone can hate you professionally. But love you personally. Someone can hate you personally. But love you professionally. Okay, this is something I've learned, and I learned it the hard way. I've got friends in something called Second Life, that's what's on this screen right now. I can't show it to you because it's banned on YouTube, and it's banned on Twitch, but I have friends in Second Life who I thought liked me as a per liked me personally, but they don't, they like just like me professionally, they don't like me personally. And vice versa, I've got people that uh, hate me professionally, but love me personally. And I had to learn to separate the two, you know. Like there's your personal life and your professional life. Same thing in all things. You need to learn to separate if someone hates you professionally or personally. If you are a police officer and someone hates you just because you're a police officer, they don't hate you because your name is Barry or John or Paul or Ringo or Linda or... You see what I'm saying? They hate you because of what you represent to them. Okay? And 
I'm going to say this year and I'm going to say it now and it's probably going to upset a lot of people and frankly I just don't care. Let me make this, let me say that again. I do not care if what I'm about to say offends you, hurts you or upsets you but it is the fucking truth. Okay? Some of you may personally know that I have Jewish heritage in me, and I do from my gra my grandfather from my grandfather on my mother's side. Okay, so my nan's husband was Jewish, Israeli Jew. Okay, Israeli Jew. Okay, their family came over in the beginning of just before the start of World War Two. Okay. Some of their family members didn't make it, and you know why. And if you don't know, Google the Holocaust. Now, that said, I somewhat emotionally have a dog in this fight. So am I pro-Palestine or pro or pro whatever? I'm neither. Let me say this again. I'm not pro-Israel. I'm not pro-Palestine. I'm not pro-Hamas. I'm not pro-whatever. I'm pro-life. I just want the killing to stop. On both sides. I want the hate to stop. On both sides. Let's all just take a minute. Take a few deep breaths. Come to our senses. We are all emotionally compromised on this. I am not pro-Ukraine or pro-Russia. I'm pro-life. Again, let us stop. Okay, stop the killing. Stop the mindless, senseless killing. Let's stop, sit down and talk. Let's come to the negotiations table. Let's talk. Let's talk. Do you understand? Use our words. Let's talk. I get it, people were killed, civilians were killed, some civilians are still hostages, that's wrong, let them go, and once you let them go, learn to let your hate go, there are people on this planet, that when I was younger, I had such a hatred for that to look back from where I'm at now and look at the uh, the younger me then, I'm ashamed, I'm embarrassed by that younger version of me. Because I have the hindsight now. And there are still people on this planet that have wronged me physically, sexually. But I forgive them. Yes, I am a victim of that. And it's wrong that I can't even say what it is because of YouTube algorithms. Like you can't say the S word, you have to say self-delete. Why? You keep talking about let's remove the stigmatism of mental health. That is a fucking stigmatism. That is a stigma. You keep strapping our hands together and telling us we can't say these certain words, but let's talk about it. That makes no fucking sense. What's in between your ears, people? You don't tug on a band-aid. You just rip the fucker off. So, please understand when I say this, I'm not pro anything, I'm not anti anything, I'm just, let's just p choose life and stop the killing, please. That's all I want. Stop the killing on both sides. Choose life. That is my stance okay 
And if you don't like it, there's the unsubscribe button. Seriously, don't need your negativity in my life. Your, your mindset is going to be your downfall. Your mindset is the negativity in your life. And it is. It is the negativity in your life. That's why your life's going nowhere. One of my favorite car builders, Carol Shelby, said there is no such thing as too much horsepower, just not enough traction. Okay? Let that sink in. Let's just build traction and just say, enough, no more killing. And I mean it, no more killing. Let's just stop, alright? Oh, that person believes in a different fluffy cloud than me, kill him. No, let's not. Let's not kill him. Let's leave them the fuck alone. Let them worship whatever fluffy cloud they believe in. Oh, well, my fluffy cloud says I have to kill everyone who doesn't believe in my fluffy cloud. Then maybe you're, you're, you're in the wrong fucking religion. How about that? Oh, you leave our religion? My religion says I've got, you got to, we've got to kill you. How about now? Just stop. Right, seriously, just stop. You're not converting me to anything. You're not going to change my mind to anything. It is what it is, right? I'm not pro this or anti that. I'm just a choose life on both sides. Okay? I just do. And for God's sake, parents, teach your fucking kids. Stop putting phones and tablets in front of their face and letting fucking Twitter and Instagram and TikTok and Christ knows what else educate your children. And then when your child goes on a mass shooting spree, I don't know what happened to poor little Timmy. Listen, Linda, you failed as a fucking parent. You're the goddamn problem. Stop it. Just fucking stop it. Maybe look at your school's syllabus and, and educational system. Because, guess what? Public schools don't create leaders. They create workers. I'll say that again. Public schools do not create leaders. They create soldiers. They create workers. They create minions. If you want your child to not be a factory worker or a minion, again, nothing wrong with factory work. I've done it. But if you don't want them to be anything of that, if you want them to be the next Prime Minister or President of the United States or whatever the fuck, whatever, a doctor, a nurse, whatever, get them out of public school. English and American public schools don't even teach your children about the very tax code system that you are all paying. It does not teach them any kind of useful life fucking skill outside of get up, get dressed, go to work, come home, buy a takeaway, go to bed, get up, shower, go to work, rinse and fucking repeat. That's it. That's all the current educational systems teach. Why? Because those who are already in power don't want people climbing up the same ladder that they climbed up. So do yourselves a favor. Get away from public schools. That's all I'm going to say on that. More important note, my daughter, who I very rarely talk about, she is graduating university in, in November. Fucking proud of her. Top of her class. Fucking proud of her. I will be going to the graduation. Fucking proud of her. And need I say it again? Fucking proud of her. So I'll be doing that. And uh, yeah. What else? Uh, oh. 
May I will be going to see my mum up in Cambridge. I'll be going up to see my mum in Cambridge and while I'm up there uh, I've got to return some things to my ex-girlfriend and what else, what else, what else, what else uh, 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 just, I'm brain there, I'm brain farting here uh, just small little minor updates um, yeah, just small minor updates uh, my The video I did dedicated to my friend Nisha. Um, we're a bit more than friends now. Um, with what happened in my prior relationship. Um, I decided to take the energy I was putting into that relationship. That fell through. That fell apart. And put it into this new relationship that uh, has greatly improved my life and has made me happy <laughs> yes this is a genuine smile has made me happy now here's another thing you can tell when a man is genuinely smiling or when he's faking a smile a fake smile he will just be doing this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a genuine smile will show his teeth and in fact any, ask any psychological analyst they'll tell you like this. <laughs> even if he's sub even if he's conscientious of his teeth, which I am, I've got to get to some dental work done. But the point is, even if that's the case, if the man is genuinely showing you his teeth when he smiles or when he laughs, he is genuinely interested in you, and he's genuinely interested in what you have to say, and vice versa. Women do it too. When a woman is genuinely interested in you, she will show her teeth when she smiles. No, in fact. Mm. Oh, no. Good coffee, actually. And so, yeah, I just. I went in this video with some simple words. And it's a simple sentence. And it's a sentence that I genuinely think not a lot of people hear much in their life. So I'm going to say it. I may not know you personally, I may not know you professionally, if I do, I do, if I don't, I don't, but I want to say this, stop worrying about the little things, live a little, you only get one life, okay, live it, don't worry about the little things, live your life, be happy, be healthy, be mindful, your mental health is one of the most important things next to your physical health because the mind does control the body the mind does affect the body remember if you think that you can't you never will if you think that you can you can at least but try okay so until then i love you all and i'm proud of you all keep on keeping on coffee's done video's done Love you. I'll see you in the next one.